And so that's what we try to do. We try to uh, use theater for what it's supposed to do, and that is to raise the issues of our day. A circus with a message how the Fern Street Circus is using the issue of health care to connect with its audience. KPBS Evening Edition starts right now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Ebony Monet. Fern Street Circus is coming up on three decades of performing and will launch a new neighborhood tour tomorrow. KPBS arts reporter Beth Accomando speaks with members to look back on its past and to talk about what fuels its social purpose. Just because healthcare is a serious issue doesn't mean you can't laugh about it. And we're going to address it in pre-existing condition of Funny Bone Saga. Our clown broke his funny bone. Using circus to address social concerns is precisely what drove John Hyken to create Fern Street Circus in the first place. It came out of my interest in Bertolt Brecht, who uh, had a very political purpose in what he did and was always about entertainment. So to have a means of being in a neighborhood as compared to asking people to come to a central edifice was really important. So it was partly political. It's the notion that theater and art need to be where people live, where they work, where they play, where they learn. And this was a, a first major step for us in being able to do that. That's a very different view of circus than what Hyken experienced as a child. The first circus I saw was when I was nine years old in Ringling in <laughs> Portland, Oregon. I think my memory is that the elephants had polka dots painted on them or something. But it, it was not theatrically careful. But Hyken's perspective on circus got a radical readjustment when he experienced a Cirque du Soleil show years later as an adult. Oh my God, I'm seeing what circus can be because they were so careful in how they approached every moment of that show. That inspired him in 1990 to create his own show. And with funds from the city of San Diego and Commission for Arts and Culture, Fern Street Circus was born. The company's social mission appealed to Memo Mendez, who's been with the circus since 1996 and serves as its bilingual ringmaster. And so we work uh, in a working class community dealing with the problems that working class communities have. This time around we're going to be dealing with the issue of health care. As we all know, very expensive, particularly for poor working people. So it's really nice to see artists involved in, in community issues and also how to teach kids how to address these problems in a way that's very uh, productive, it's very peaceful, it's very uh, edu educational. And so that's what we try to do. We try to uh, use theater for what it's supposed to do, and that is to raise the issues of our day. One, two, three, four, and five, six. Valentina Martin's job is to help convey those issues through her choreography. She's used to creating big, sexy numbers with lots of showgirls. Now she has to fit her big ideas into a small space. I'm thinking about big images, of course. It's a big circus number, so what I want to do is meant to make a big, like, kapow, like a boom, like, Wow, we're in a circus now. But what you're not seeing at this rehearsal are the couple dozen kids she also has to fit into the single ring circus. When we were doing it with the kids over the weekend, it's realized how much little space we actually have. And it's super crowded having 30 kids on the stage plus seven or eight adults at the same time. And we're, you know, working in this ring curve that, that John has built and he's had for, for years and years. And we have only this much space, right? So it's, it's confining. But what can feel infinite are the possibilities presented by the the talented people she works with, and she tries to incorporate the skills of each performer into the final production. The result is what makes circus a magical experience. It's very interesting when we do circus shows all, all over San Diego. We go to tough neighborhoods and sometimes some of the tough guys around there looking at us when we're setting up like, what are you doing here? And as soon as the show starts, everything changes. No matter where you are in life, how old you are, when you see a show, when it starts happening, when you see the magic of it, you just leave reality for a minute and watch what's going on. Come down and see how our clown Otis fixes his funny bone. And while you're laughing at his comic plight, you can also learn about how we all have a civic responsibility that we need to embrace. Beth Accomando, KPBS News. 
Fern Street Circus will perform pre-existing condition of Funny Bone Saga this month for free at various parks locations. You can find tonight's stories on our website, kpbs.org slash evening edition. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.